Hmm. Oh, what happened here? Good morning. Looks like we had some duck eggs hatch last night. Oh. Here we go. Check out my little thermostat. Who's under here? Good morning. There's still a duckling in there. Oh. Turn off the light for a second so you can actually see them. There they are. Babies, good morning. These are our little apple yard ducklings. They just popped out of their nest this morning. And by the nest, I mean my incubator. What we do is we put them in what's called a brooder box. This is just a makeshift brooder box, but it has a little nest where I put some little hot hands underneath a blanket. And it has food and water. And within 24 hours of taking them out of the incubator, you have to take a duckling and you gotta dip their little beak dip in the water so they get a little drink and then I dip it in the food and they go oh that's so weird but that's how they learn <laughs> to eat and drink for the first time so I'm gonna go through each of these little ducklings give them a drink a little food that's two it's hard to keep them apart we've got seven little ducklings that was seven little eggs in the incubator and they all hatched. I'm gonna lose track. <laughs> all right, there we go. You need a drink of water. Good job. And there, yeah, squish your little beak into the little duck food. And the duck food is just the regular adult grower and we crumbled it up. So it's just crumbled. There we go. Two more. Sweet little apple yards, classic, with the little black mohawk right down the middle of their head. There you have a little water. Good job. Have a little drink and dip the beak. And one left. Hi, baby. They also have the cutest little tail. Oh. Hi, babies. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> They all still have their little egg tooth from where they poked out of the egg. And that will kind of fall off like kids lose their first teeth. Ducklings lose their egg tooth after about three to five days. It'll just fall off. What are you doing? <laughs> you want some water? Come over here. So I'm going to turn their heat lamp back on. Got to keep it nice and warm for them, but we have a little temperature gauge in here so we can tell if it gets too warm. And then we can move the heat lamp away from the ducklings. <laughs> Generally, you can just tell if they're happy because they're quiet. And if they were not happy, they'd all be peeping. All right, thanks for watching. We love you. Hope you're having a great Monday.